Well, other news right now, and now former assistant water polo coach from UC Davis is in federal custody as an investigation for child pornography related charges is now underway. KCRA 3's Maricela De La Cruz has details. Hired in 2019 by UC Davis, Daniel Noble was an assistant water polo coach. His termination was announced at 3 p.m. by the university after his arrest by federal agents on Thursday. Today, he was at the federal courthouse where he faces charges for the knowing distribution of visual depictions of minors engaging in sexual acts. The 10-page federal complaint against him mentions multiple graphic videos he sent through the Kick Messenger app about children engaging in sexually explicit conduct. According to court documents, he used the name The Ginger as he has red hair. In today's first court appearance, U.S. Magistrate Judge Barnes set a 100,000 unsecured bond co-signed by Daniel and both his parents. The court ordered that Noble must surrender his passport, must also get tested for drugs and alcohol, and will have to use a GPS transmitter device. Amid the investigation, and although court documents show that Noble did not produce any of the videos, youth counselor Tara Tillman says that parents and anyone that is around children can identify if something might be going on in their lives. Parents, friends, teachers, anyone in um, children's lives can be looking for signs that this might be going on by um, when um, children might change their behaviors, they might um, start acting more secretive. She adds that it's easy for children to fall prey to adults. Children need guidance and so they're in that kind of vulnerable state just being children and being with an adult. Noble is set to be released on Monday morning, and we found out today in court that he will be in home detention in San Diego with his parents during the investigation. And Daniel Noble will be traveling from Southern California to Sacramento for his court appearances. His next court date has been scheduled here at the federal courthouse in Sacramento on June 10th. Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. So again, you heard Noble was allowed uh, home detention because he's been cooperative during the investigation. He has no prior criminal record. Noble will not be allowed to use devices with internet capability, and he will be allowed to have one cell phone with monitoring services installed on it.